hello guys welcome once again in this video I will show you how to make a splash screen with your C sharp windows form application so let me show you what I mean by splash screen so for example in the last video I have made a simple uh, application called text to speech recognition and when I run this program first of all I want to show this splash screen which loads and when the progress bar completes then my actual program starts so once again I want to show you today this splash screen how can I create okay so let's get started I will make a new project for that new project windows form application Splash screen one click OK my project is created now now this is form one of my project I will add a new form so I will right click my project go to add new item windows form and form two I will click OK so I have two forms now form one and form two I will select form two first and I will select this form and I will go to the properties and first of all I will disable this form border style so go here and click none so it will disable the borders of my form second thing I will do is I will go a little bit up I will go this go to this background image and I will set a background image to my form so just click it make it a local resource import and you can choose the image of your choice for example this image and I will click OK so now my image is set in my form but you can see the full image is not showing so what I will do is first of all I will say background image layout is stretch so click this stretch and now your whole image is stretched into your form now I will go a little bit lower here and I will say start position so what I want to start my form at the center of my computer screen so I will say center screen start position is equal to center screen and I will disable this show in taskbar also so I will say false okay so now we are done with this form now we will go to the toolbar and I will drag and drop a progress bar from here resize it a little so okay now I will take a timer from here drag and drop to into your form and it looks like this so here you can see the timer one just select your timer and set it enable go to the property and click enable is equal to true and set your interval you need to uh, see what interval fits your timer for your splash screen I make it as interval 32 just uh, try different intervals and what suit your app suits your application just give the interval here now I will click this timer one and double click it and I will reach to the timer tick event here I will write progress bar one dot increment I want to give an increment of one with every timer tick and then I want to set this timer stop when so I will write if my progress bar dot value is equal to hundred so my progress bar reaches 100 
if my progress bar reaches 100 I want my timer to stop okay so we are done with this form 2 and now we reach to the main form which is our form 1 here this is this will be our main window which we want to uh, show after our splash screen so maybe I will show some message I will take a label and I will change its text as this is the main form for example and I can change the font so that it's visible font let's see 26 okay so I resize it and this is our main form now I will go to the form dot cs so I want to go to this form 1 dot cs to the code of this form so I will say just double click it and I will go here at the top and I import one file so I will say using system dot threading and then just here just below your main form function or class just say so we will make a function called splash start and we will say just run our application so I will say application dot run bracket and bracket closed new form so we want to start form 2 from here so we make this function first and now go to here in your main form constructor and just above your initialize component we will start a thread or we will create a thread so I will write thread t is equal to new thread bracket and bracket closed and when then we say new thread sorry new thread start and in the bracket we will pass our function this splash start function so copy it and paste it here so we created a thread now we will start our thread so we will write t dot start and now we will give the interval or sleep to our thread so that our uh, splash screen form can load completely so I will say t dot one second so I will say thread dot sleep and I will give an interval for example 5000 here and then just after your initialized component function I will abort thread so I will write t dot abort and close 
so this is the code for splash screen and I, I have made it a little bit larger so that you can see it I just made this function called splash start and I start my form 2 splash screen from here and then in here I have created a thread and I started this function from here and then I start the thread and I give a sleep of 5000 millisecond and then after my initialized component I abort this thread so if you want just pause the video and copy the code and now I will run my code so let's see if it works or not see here it's working okay so in this way you can create a simple splash screen to your C sharp windows form application project I hope you have liked this video so please keep watching these videos and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now